Well, hi guys! Welcome to another episode. My name is Betty again, and I'm your host. So last week's episode, um, it was interesting. <laughs> um, my daughter came by as a guest, and I think I was even more nervous than she was because I felt like I wasn't talking normally. Anyway, so we're back here, and I hope you guys have enjoyed our journey so far, and you keep listening. Um, you know, every week. Um, I guess so far I've done it every Tuesday at 10 a.m. It's when a new episode is uploading. So I'm going to try to keep up with that. And like I said, you know, this week I want to talk about all the things that I've been doing. Um, so my daughter was awesome. She's a natural. She says that she wants to be an artist now. She wants to be a singer. Oh my God, she wants to, you know, I see a lot of myself in her. When I was younger, I wanted to be a photographer. And then my grandma was like, that's not even a job, that's a hobby. And I'm like, what? I could have been making so much money right now. <laughs> but, so that was, you know, one of those dreams that I had when I was younger. And then, uh, what else? So yeah, that was one of my dreams. I also wanted to be a model. I wanted to be like a doctor. And then I just got to have shaky hands but because I want to be a surgeon. I want to do so many things. And I feel like we all go through that, that we just want to be so many things when we're growing up. Like, you know, first kids see things like, oh, I want to be a teacher or I want to be, I don't know, an astronaut or something. My daughter went from she wanted to be a ballet dancer to she wanted to be a teacher. Um, to she wanted to be an artist, a singer. Um, and there's so many things she wants to be, and I'm sure she's gonna be something really big one day. And you know, hopefully bigger than me. That's that's the hope we have for our kids. That's what my family taught me that you know you always have to pursue your dreams, always go for the biggest thing. And here I am, you know, so many years later, trying to find success in my things and things that I do and my daily living. Um, so for now, I, oh, I've been very <laughs> busy. I just bought a, a Cricut Joy and it's been very interesting working with that. And also it's like, oh, I should have gotten the bigger one because now all the signs that I'm making, they're kind of small, but also it gave me a lot of inspiration to stop to start you know personalizing stuff like I personalize a wallet and a bag and a raincoat and so many things so now I have like so many ideas things I even did a shirt I did I did I used some heat transfer vinyl sheets and I got some sh uh, some t-shirts for women and I'm personalizing them so you know that's probably gonna be next in business and I'm very excited and hopefully there's a lot of things coming in the future, good things for me. So, you know, good vibes only. Um, this week on Wednesday, tomorrow, there should be a super blue moon. Was it a red blue moon? I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a super blue moon. So a blue moon, you know, it's like when they say once in a blue moon, it's a rare event when there is a full moon twice in a month. So there was already one blue moon this month at the beginning of August, and tomorrow is gonna be the second one. This one is gonna be on Pisces, which that is my sign, if you didn't know. Super Pisces here, all the fishies. Um, and I don't know, the, I feel like good vibes are coming for everyone, change is coming things that we need to realize all a lot of things are gonna get clearer it's also coming on Virgo so that's gonna help not just dream you know like crazy Pisces dreamers that all we do is dream and dream and dream we need to actually put in actions and things um, yeah what else have I been doing this week oh my god uh, oh, I've been personalizing things I went to a concert I was so excited. Um, so there's this band called RVD, RVD, um, from this telenovela I used to watch when I was younger. I was a teenager. It was called Rebelde in Mexico. 
So I went to see them on Friday. They played um, nearby for their first, um, I guess it was the first concert of the tour. It's called Soy Rebelde Tour. And it was, it was pretty exciting, honestly. I got there just as when they were like starting. So it was nice, and I met some of my friends, some of my best friends over there. Um, one of my best friends had to miss it. Um, she had some issues, um, but you know, it was sad, but it was really, really excited that I got to be there. And it's just like the vibe, you know? You guys have been hearing all about my anxiety, my issues with crowds and people. This was more of like, I'm gonna just stay in my seat. I'm gonna, you know, just enjoy, watch them sing, just, freaking yell my lungs out like just feel everything like feeling all the feels it was like just amazing honestly and I don't know I guess it was like a really good um experience for me because I was I've been waiting like I really wanted to see them when I was a teenager but you know me my family didn't have that much money for that so I I wasn't gonna ask like oh buy me tickets for this because like it wasn't a thing <sighs> so you know <laughs> there's so many things that change and I am really really proud of myself and I'm really happy that I was able to go next thing on the list you know if you watch my Instagram stories is that I want to go see Taylor Swift but that's it's quite another stepping stone. Tickets are hard to get and they're so expensive and so many things. But hey, you never know. Tay Tay might be next in my list. And it's just, I don't know, I'm trying to live things like I want to enjoy things. I want to do things that I really want to do and like be happy about them. I just don't want to do things that don't make me happy anymore because I feel like a lot of us, we just get, we settle for things because we think that's the right thing to do and then we're not even happy. Like we do this with relationships, with this, we do this with jobs, we do this with, I don't know, a lot of things. And you know, for our generation, millennials, hi hi out there, um, I feel like we're, we're trying to find a better way of life. Like we just want to be able to have a happier life like something we enjoy more, you know, even if it means not having a 401k or whatever. <laughs> I feel like it's just, the market is crazy right now, right? So it's just so many things are going that are preventing us from growing the way our parents or our grandparents did. So we're just trying to find at least the happiness in the things that we do. And that's what we everyone should do, right? So let's take this week to think about that you know let's just uh, absorb all the energy that this blue moon is going to bring us just let go of things think about the future write the things that you want to do you know write some affirmations think about them and you know let just the good vibes fill you i'm not saying this is going to change your life but you know you never know actually so just get a lucky bamboo and get some crystals. <laughs> I'm really into all that stuff. Lately, I have so many books that I still haven't read. Like I told you before, I have so many books that I keep trying to read about chakras and destiny and astrological things. I have a book that I bought for myself that was called The Birth Date Book. And I still have to read it. It talks all about your houses, your things like... A lot of things that the sign, astrological things that design the way, you know, in the moment and the place you were born, which a lot of people are like, well, you're just the way you are because you are, right? And that's that's true. Like, we all have a personality type. We all have a way of being. We all were raised in some way. But there's other things that influence us. I believe that. You know, there's a lot of people who believe in God. There's a lot of people that believe in the signs and destiny and faith and you know just astrological things there's so many things i feel like everybody should have something to believe in just just so they can feel like there's more like there's just more out there for us and whatever you believe in i respect it i am proud of you i love you guys 
as always you know this was just a bunch of rambling <laughs> but I just wanted to tell you what I've been going through this week and I'm I hope you see you know hearing my voice that I'm I'm doing good so far right not so sad I still get some episode of depression but I'm trying to work through all of this and I hope that you guys are working on all the things that you guys want to work in everything that you guys are trying to be successful in I hope that all your dreams come true I hope that I can send you some good vibes and yeah I just hope that you guys have an awesome week I wish you all the best and just you know continue to follow subscribe here on this podcast and keep listening to this unwritten book love you guys see you on the next one